Welcome back to Tom Marcy Field, everybody. Brainwash for Switch TV. I'm Ben Curtis. Good to be with you here, North Broward Prep and Cardinal Gibbons, as the girls' game is the first half of a North Broward Cardinal Gibbons doubleheader. Uh, and Cardinal Gibbons has the better of play in this one, to say the least. It's six to nothing, the Chiefs lead, and they are looking for more on the attack. Play looking for Patterson, uh, but it's going to roll for a goal kick. How did we get here, you might ask? Well, the Alexia Duhame scored in the 14th minute. KK Pavelchuk added one in the 19th minute. They, uh, the Chiefs got a goal in the 20th minute off of the corner kick. Pavelchuk scored again in the 36th minute. Alana Lutchman Singh scored in the 40 plus first minute. And uh, Barra scored, Amy Barra scored, uh, in the 52nd minute. At six goals for Cardinal Gibbons. None on the score sheet yet for North Broward, and they've got about 18 and a half to 19 minutes to do so. At least that's according to the Tom Marcy Field scoreboard. Throwing coming for Cardinal Gibbons on the far side. Now played in towards the middle, looking for Patterson, but Susie is there. And Susie's able to clear it to Hawes in the midfield. Hawes looking to find Sherman, but defended well by the Chiefs. And Gibbons has it in the midfield. Played into the middle by Cardinal Gibbons, but there's no one in gray there, so Sam Susie will have it. <coughs> now it's Watts playing it towards Pesa. And now Sherman will let it run to a defender. Watts, though, I think I'll check that old BC. Now North Broward still battling for it, and Pesa is going to let it turn and pass back to a defender. Deflects off of Ricardo Gibbons' player. Now here comes Pavelchuk again, this time down the left-hand side. Pavelchuk battling with Kalechi, and Kalechi wins the battle and is able to get it away. But Pesa can only get it to the sideline, so it's going to be a throw in coming for Cardinal Gibbons. North Brown is able to take it away, though, on the near sideline and keep it in bounds as Pesa gets it over to Haas. Haas will play towards the middle, but OBC is not going to be able to catch up to that one as it rolls to Ky uh, Riley Brown. She gives it off to a teammate. Now it's on the far sideline. Kept in bounds, though, by North Broward Prep. Now it's Sherman trying to get around two defenders. She's able to put pressure on Lutchmanson. But Lutchmanson is able to get around Sherman and play it on the far sideline. Kept in bounds. North Broward regains possession of it, though, and they will have it uh, in their defense. Played over to the near sideline, and now played back towards the middle. Now looking to find Sherman, but defended away again by Cardinal Gibbons. Now Olabisi has it. We'll put it towards the middle, but there's nobody in white there, and Lutchmanson will it clear it away. Lauren Watts is there for, for North Broward. Watts has been uh, willing to go forward for North Broward tonight. But they still got nothing to show for it on the scoreboard. Hawes still with it. Trying to play Sherman, but they weren't on the same page. And it'll roll to, Ky to Riley Brown. Now played towards the far sideline. North Broward with it. Played towards the middle in Kalechi. But you will play it out of bounds on the near sideline. Up towards the bottom of your screen. So if you're throwing now... Four Cardinal Gibbons and a lot of elections in. Eventually. He's going to get a change in goal now as Sam Suzy uh, comes off. No, other team. Oh, sorry. No. That's Gibbons' goal, isn't it? No. Oh, that is Sam. Yeah, Sam Suzy. A little bit of confusion here in the press box. Oh. But Sam Suzy uh, has left the game. Uh, Trisha Amrine deciding to pull Suzy after six goals. 
Lauren Kidwell with it. Now in the back for North Broward. Patterson with it. Now for Cardinal Gibbons as they take it away. Now played towards the middle to Duhame. Duhame still with it. Now Duhame gets taken down. The Grinch rule it goes against Alexia Duhame and Cardinal Gibbons. Uh, so free kick coming to North Broward Prep. The scoreboard reads 14 minutes, but expect a little bit more than that remaining. We will have a very quick turnaround uh, between the girls' game and the boys' game. It's scheduled to start at 7, the, girl, uh, the boys' game, and expect it uh, to do so generally. Lauren Watts with it now in the middle. Sherman waits for it and is able to get it. Now it's Sherman towards the middle. Sherman on the left foot. Trying to get around Lutchmanson, but she can't. And a lot of Lutchmanson is able to play it out. North Broward still pressing, trying to find a goal. But taken away by Duhame, it looks like. North Broward able to take it away, though. Again, nice play there from, looks like, Sherman. Now a shot. Oh, um. But it just goes across the face of goal. Once again, apologize for the camera work. Uh, Sherman was able to put it across the face of goal after she got a nice uh, turn to keep it in play. But no North Broward player could finish it off, and they remain scoreless. Cardinal Gibbons can't say the same. They have six. Nice turn there from Cardinal Gibbons and away the Chiefs are, but... Lauren Kidwell is able to deal with it, but only as far as a Cardinal Gibbons player. Looks like that was uh, Jennifer Meyer. Now played towards the middle from Cardinal Gibbons. Some trouble with it from the North Broward keeper. Cardinal Gibbons has it now. Turns, shoots, and a nice save from the North Broward keeper to keep it at six. That is an eighth grader in net from North Broward Prep, and she just made a tremendous save to keep it at 6 nothing. Jennifer Meyer had the ball. She turned, she shot, and that ball was destined for the back uh, corner of the net until North Broward's keeper swiped it away. It's going to be a corner kick, though, number 10 on the night for Cardinal Gibbons. We have about 13 minutes to go here from North Broward Prep. Lauren Watts is able to take it away. It was a short corner. It's going to be a throw in, though, for uh, Cardinal Gibbons. <laughs> throw in for Gibbons is taken. Lauren Watts crashes into, I uh, look like that was Duhame. Now Lutchman Singh will end up taking a ball to face. It deflected off of a North Broward player, bounced back up in her face. She grabs it. Appears to be okay though. I wouldn't really expect Lutchman Singh to stay in the game all that much longer. Uh, she had that hamstring issue earlier on, and now uh, with this, no, sorry, check that. That was actually Maya Alicia. Uh, that's my fault. Throw in for Cardinal Gibbons. Is taken and now Duhame with it towards the middle. North Broward is going to let it roll. Cardinal Gibbons is going to keep it in bounds though. Nice play to keep it alive. And now it's going to be a shot on goal and another nice save from North Broward. It was Tegan Dunkel uh, who made the nice move in the corner to get around one defender and put the shot on net. But we remain at six. It was five to nothing at halftime. And Cardinal Gibbons added one in the fifty-second minute. So that is how we stand right now at six to nothing. Cardinal Gibbons as Alicia plays it back. Now forward to Cardinal Gibbons, but North Brown was able to clear it away. And just barely. Now Morgan Hawes giving chase. Hawes has it on the near sideline trying to find Sherman. She looks off sides and she is. And North Broward still can't quite seem to string together 
uh, the play necessary in order to get on the score sheet. It was not an easy task to begin with, as I mentioned. Newman and Shortridge both out and facing Riley Brown, the uh, first team goalkeeper, first team all county goalkeeper, and facing a Cardinal given side which had allowed only nine goals all year coming into this one. And the Gibbons defense has answered the call tonight from North Broward. It's going to be a free kick coming to North Broward. Looks like they rule a handball against Cardinal Gibbons. About nine or so minutes to go here from Tom Marcy Field in Coconut Creek. Ben Curtis, good to be with you on Brainwash Sports Twitch TV. Now played in towards the middle, but Olabisi cannot quite catch up to it, and it's corralled by Riley Brown. North Brown has it again, though. Sherman trying to turn, but taken away nicely by Maya Alicia, and away she goes for Cardinal Gibbons. Looking to find Patterson on the near sideline. And she does. Patterson still with it. Now defended nicely by North Broward Prep. Referee says play on as multiple players go to ground. Still with it now. North Broward able to clear it away, but only briefly. Alicia now with it, but she sends it over the bar. So Cardinal Gibbons still looking for a seventh. They can't find it. North Broward still looking for their first. I want to extend a thank you to the athletic department of Cardinal Gibbons. Uh, they were very, very helpful in providing me uh, with the information necessary to do this game. Margo Flack was nice enough to meet with me uh, before game, head coach of Cardinal Gibbons. Uh, so many thanks are in order to the Chiefs Athletic Department. And as always, to the North Broward Athletic Department, Michael Strasky. Always fantastic in allowing me to do this. North Broward's Fine Arts Department as well. Uh, Chris Petruzzi, Robin Hollander. Uh, very supportive of this endeavor. Uh, and, uh, to another extent, Sam Gelfand, uh, my co-founder and uh, co-commentator on basketball, are doing. About seven minutes remaining on the clock. A Tom Marcy field that will shut off when there's two minutes remaining. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, the only time that really matters is on the officials watch, and I wouldn't ex expect him to extend the game any longer than really necessary. North Brower takes it back. Morgan Hawes trying to catch up to it from Alicia, but Alicia is away with it. Alicia is still with it, now playing it towards.